Good day everybody! This is Nelka Rocco again. How is your pandemic situation in your countries right now? I received an email from our friend Juan Ignacio. Uh, he said, Dear Miss Rocco, wow, okay. This is Juan from Spain. Hola Juan, buenos dias. I am writing from an engineering office, okay? We would like to ask you if it's possible to use Dialog's EVO road lighting in order to calculate a street with luminaires in two different different heights. That is a pole with two luminaires in two levels. One facing the road, 8 meters high, and the other facing the sidewalk, 4 meters high. I have attached the photo, and this is the photo. Okay, so we have one street light for the road and one for the pathway. Okay, yes, Juan, it's possible and it's very easy. So let's go and open now our Dialux Evo. So, okay, I'm opening my Dialux Evo now and we will proceed directly to road lighting. Okay, so just click this one street lighting and then I'm going to use Dialux Evo because the Dialux regular will be no longer available soon because they are going to phase out that software later on. Okay, so let's just use this default site, size of the road and then we will add some pathwalk or sidewalk on the other side or on one side. So just add pathwalk here. So, okay, let's just put it on the other side. So it will be similar to the picture. Okay, I'll just keep the size of the pathwalk and the road to be the default one. And that is very easy, Juan. So all you need to do is just drag and drop the luminaire. So if you have a luminaire already, a, sh a selected luminaire from your office. So go and get that one. Check, uh, get the IS file or photometric file and use it in your design. So I'm checking my luminaire now and I will select... Okay, I will select this one. So I'm just going to drag and drop. So this one I think is, um, what is the lumen output of this fitting? So this is, um, this is 89 watt. And then I will select a new one with a lower, lower wattage for the road side or for the, or per, for the pathwalk side. So I select one more here. I'll just drag and drop again just drag and drop again okay so you now have two types of luminaire and this one the one i just drag and drop is i'm going to rotate it facing to the sidewalk so how to do that i just put 180 degrees in this pole rotation and then change the height into four meters like what you said Okay, now I have luminaire 4 meters facing to the sidewalk while this one, this higher wattage, I'm just going to adjust it a little similar to the space of um, the pathwalk luminaire. So I'm going to offset this one. So I'm just going to change the pole distance from roadway and it says 0.66. I'll just make it 0 0.5. There you go. 0 0.3. Perfect. Okay, and then I'll change this one into 8 meters. Okay, so there you go. Now I have my street light and pathwalk light. So that's how easy it is, Juan. Alright, I hope you like this video. And let's see how it looks in the calculation report. Yep, so we achieved the road lighting. I'll check. For the sidewalk, it says I'm overlit. Yes, I can look for a lower wattage because this one, my luminaire is, yeah, it's 55 watt. If I can find something like 20 watt or 30 watts with the same beam optic, then that would be fine. All right. So, Hawaiian is very easy, right? So, just go and adjust and just drag and drop. Just adjust the boom length adjust the uh, luminaire rotation and the distance the pole distance distance from the roadway and that's it you can create your two luminaires in one pole in one road lighting all right so see you again on the next video and by the way i'm working right now with my road lighting design ebook which actually already uploaded some in the amazon 
because I'm almost done with my Udemy course about the road lighting. So it's time to create an ebook. So if you want to uh, enroll in this course one, go and check this one in www.udemy.com. And you can see it's here. It's, it's still incomplete right now, but I'm working on it. Okay, I'm just busy with some project. All right, and the ebook is also coming. So yes, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe and see you again on the next video.